Hey guys, what is going on? So we got even more NFL offseason news because this NFL offseason is just trying to be the most, most crazy offseason ever. So Ian Rappaport tweeted out another blockbuster coming, question mark, despite an offer from the Chiefs that would make superstar Tyree Kill one of the highest paid receivers. Extension talks have stalled and Kansas City has now given Hill's agent permission to seek a trade, sources tell me. Then just a few minutes later, Adam Schefter tweeted out, Jets and Dolphins are in serious talks to trade for Chiefs wide receiver Tyree Kill per, per league sources. Hill and Chiefs are mulling what to do, but Hill's time in KC looks like it could be coming to an end. So the first thing I thought when I saw Ian Rappaport's tweet was that they said one of the highest paid wide receivers and if you go over here and you look at the actual highest paid wide receivers obviously Devonte adams is number one after getting that new contract just a few days ago he's getting five years 140 million then you have amari cooper at number two five years 100 million then you have michael thomas at number three five years 96.25 million and then tyree kill's contract all the way down here for right now his current contract three years 54 million he's currently the number uh, 19th highest paid wide receiver, the 19th highest paid wide receiver in the NFL. Tyreek Hill shouldn't be one of the highest paid wide receivers. He should be the second highest paid wide receiver, in my opinion. I don't think he's going to get Devontae Adams money, but he should be getting above an $100 million contract. He's four years younger than Devontae Adams. He's 25 years old. And I think, I think he should be getting like five years, 125, I would say 125 million. Let me know what you guys think about that number, but he should not be one of the highest paid. He should be number two, in my opinion, because you look, Amari Cooper got five years, a hundred million, and that wasn't, you know, recently, you know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't in the past year. So Tyreek, he's one of the top wide receivers in the NFL. He's not Devontae Adams, but he's younger than Devontae Adams. So you got to give him that contract. So I was kind of surprised when I saw the first reports that Tyreek Hill's agent would want to explore a trade because the chemistry he has with Patrick Mahomes, like him and Patrick Mahomes have an insane connection. Like their games complement each other so well. So it kind of surprised me that he would want to go elsewhere if they were offering top him top wide receiver money. But then you look at the contracts and it's like, Tyreek should actually be pretty close to Devontae Adams' numbers, and I feel like the Chiefs probably weren't offering him that. So now for the teams that could end up making a move for Tyreek Hill, like Adam Schefter said, the Jets and the Dolphins. I would honestly like to see Tyreek Hill on the Jets over the Dolphins. The Dolphins, they have Jalen Waddle, and Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill would actually be an insane duo because their games are actually pretty similar. They're both insanely fast. But I would like to see Zach Wilson with Tyreek Hill. Like, I I think that would be a really fun duo to watch as long as the Jets, you know, beef up that offensive line a little bit, continue to make that offensive line better. But I would think that would be a really, really fun duo to watch. I just feel like Zach Wilson's game goes better with Tyreek Hills than Tua's, to be totally honest with you guys. Obviously, the Chiefs signed Juju a couple days ago, but you can't replace Tyreek Hill with Juju. Juju is a great wide receiver, but Tyreek is top five, maybe a top three wide receiver in the league right now. And they're just two totally different players. Their their games are totally different. And if the Chiefs do lose Tyreek Hill, I mean, that's going to be a huge, huge loss for their offense. I don't know if they can pay him close to Devontae Adams' money because of their cap space situation. Like, I don't know how they were able to pay so many players uh, such big contracts. Obviously, that Patrick Mahomes contract is huge. But if they lose Tyreek Hill... Oh my gosh, that's going to be that's going to be really really tough for that offense and it's really going to be like all right, how how good is Patrick Mahomes now? He loses Tyreek Hill. Let's see what Patrick Mahomes can do. But honestly, it looks like Tyreek is going to be on the move because I feel like a team like the Jets or Dolphins, like Adam Schefter said, will give him close to Devontae Adams' money. So that is it for this video, guys. Let me know where you think Tyreek Hill is going to play next year. If you're new here and you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you want to hit that thumbs up button, it really does help out the channel. All right, guys, that is it. Peace.